Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here on an exhibition in Alex's Swamp. You can actually see a really beautiful bridge that he's built right over there. And we are still searching for chameleons! Yay! So we have finally built the next exhibit, the chameleon exhibit, and we are seeking more of those fantastic reptiles to add in to the exhibit and fill it up so that there's more than just very chittery hummingbirds and very excited parrots sharing the multi-species exhibit. We have two chameleons and hopefully we'll be able to find some more today. And I've typically found them up along the area where like the lush swamp and where the, um, where that beautiful garden biome, look at that garden biome. Isn't that just, ah, oh, I can't wait to go over there. But we're going to be heading over there because that's usually where I find the chameleons. And I haven't found too much so far while we were like running over here. I do think I want to harvest up some of the wild plants though. All right, you guys want to help me? You guys want to help me? It might be nice to help him harvest. Oh, actually, it's breakfast time. Look at everybody. They're kind of hungry. All right. Pig's ears it is. Pig's ears all around. There you go, Holly. There you go. You were really hungry. Hey, Tate. Tate's like, um, I could get a fish. Do you want some fish, Tate? You probably have fish. Oh, my goodness. He's got a lot of stuff in here. All right. So let's go ahead. Oh, he's got comfy eggs. He's got gold. He's got peafowl eggs. Let's go ahead and get a couple fish to feed Tate because he loves fish. All right. There you go, Tate. There's some fish for you. All right, but yeah, oh, I love it. exploring. Just look at this. Look at that. There's a beautiful temperate rainforest on the other side over there. You can see there's a few, um, like there's some horses. There's a lot of beautiful aquatic plants. I see some of the lily pads. I wonder, I wonder if those are algae pieces or if those are small lily pads. So we might dive into the water later to check it out. And I'm going to climb up here though and do a little bit of gathering, gather up some wild leafy garden resources because it is Friday. So at some point I'm gonna have to zip back over real quick to do an, a kitchen, zoo kitchen episode because oh my goodness, they're so much fun. And if I have all of this leafy goodness, then that'll be, oh, I'm leaving behind like a trail of cabbages. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Yeah, I'm just leaving a trail of cabbages. Don't mind me, don't mind me. All right, I'm gonna tuck all these away. I'm going to put my vegetarian lettuce wraps away for now because we have apples and pralines for a snack. All right, let's keep going. Holly, did you pick up all the extra stuff? Good girl, Holly. Good girl. And we'll gather up more of these herb bits and pieces. And someone asked, Siri, do you think you can find cinnamon in the herb gardens? And I don't think we can because we have tea leaves, ginger, celery, edible roots, spice leaves. And the cinnamon comes from a cinnamon tree. So what else do we get from the herb garden? We get mustard seeds and garlic, but no cinnamon. There's also a lot of mushrooms. I feel like we should leave Alex some more food when we head back over there because he didn't have a lot like inside of his kitchen. So maybe we'll like put some mushrooms on to grill for him. Maybe make some mushroom soup. I could bring over some mushroom soup from all of our awesome mushrooms. All right, let's gather these pieces up. What's that? It's a fern. I got all excited. I was like, it's some unknown plant. No, it's a fern. It's just a fern, Siri. It's okay. All right, let's put away these things. Ooh, look at all this. Not bad for doing just a quick little itty bitty forging bit and piece in a nearby area. And it helps to do forging because sometimes these gardens can really start getting a little bit out of hand. Holly, are you helping out? Lily, are you helping out? Somebody is helping out. Thanks for, uh, thanks, Lily. Yeah, Lily is the one helping out. All right, Lily, thank you, darling. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get those now because some of those are very useful. Put them away. Okay, we're going to put away the moss. All right, and now that we've done a little bit of morning foraging to get ourselves started, let's wiggle this way. We're going to go across this bridge. Isn't this bridge perfect? It just has the zookeeper atmosphere. Everything Alex does seems to have that zookeeper atmosphere. I'm so envious. It, it just it hits all the right notes. Oh my goodness, look at this. So many tropical, garden, tropical gardens to forge. All right, let's go through. I'm gonna gather you up, I'm gonna gather you up. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. There's so much food. There's even gourd gardens. There's just so much food here. What a like beautiful, abundant land. And actually we have talked quite a bit in the past about how abundant the resources are in swamps. Cause a lot of people think swamps are nothing but, whoops, that's the wrong backpack. A lot of people think that swamps are nothing but mud and, you know, alligators and who would want to go in a swamp. But as we've spoken about before, swamps actually have some of the highest concentrations of biodiversity on life and serve very, very important roles for providing areas for um, 
a lot of your your bugs and a lot of your young fish, your little baby fish fry, to have a safe place to go. Ooh, there's more over here. Oh my gosh, I've got to stop. I'll stop after this. I just I can't help it. It's like there's free food on the ground. And it's not like the kind that you drop on the ground and like now no one wants to eat it. It's just like free delicious food. How could you resist? How could I resist? There we go. But yeah, swamps, beautiful places full of biodiversity, which means lots of different plants and animals. And they serve as very important nurseries for young animals too. All right, so let's go ahead. Look at this, look at this, there's another bridge. Oh my gosh, I could just follow this all day. Oh my gosh, what's this? <gasps> That's right, we've come to this area before. Oh my goodness, and it just le leads into this chasm. Oh, oh my gosh, is that another bridge across the chasm? Hang on. I spy with my little eye. This is fantastic! Alex, A+, plus, A+, plus work on this. I think we're gonna dive into the jungle, or the garden area from here, though. And look at this. I love these trees. Look, you can see his observatory. That's actually around where we found one of the chameleons before. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. I better get a couple safari nuts ready just in case we see anything useful. I do want to get bat pick down because I do want to try to collect some of these. Some of these tree, these, um, I almost said tree. Some of these flower pieces to put in with our chameleon so that he'll have more things to change colors to entertain the guest. I don't think the chameleon really could care one way or another. Oh my gosh. I, that's my dog's growling at something. So we need to peer through the grasses very carefully. Here's a bunch of beautiful begonias. Oh my goodness. And we'll try to head kind of far away from where he has his paths. Oh, oh it's a bird! Do you guys think maybe we should add some of these birds into our exhibit? That would make sense. Well, until, until, like, what's this? Oh, this is just some grass. Like, I, I saw the flicker and it's like, is that a thing? I think we'll keep some of these birds. Um, because that would be a good idea to let some birds like this just loose. Hi, little guy. I guess you definitely want to come with us. But that would be a very good idea to put them in the aviary too, so it doesn't just have to be the parrots and the hummingbirds. We can have a whole little ecosystem variety going on in there. Also, it's almost night already. Good grief. Oh, but what a night. Look at the sunset in the garden biome. <gasps> you guys! It's a rose red chicken! Dun dun dun! Love again! We found love again! Mr. Rose Red Chicken! We found love again. There we go. And now we have another Royster chicken. So that makes me happy. And we're going to go ahead and put our bed down and take a quick snooze so that we don't get eaten by everything out in the wild. I think the plants do glow though. I think like the center part of the plants glow or something, which would be really cool. Oh, and there's an egg. It laid an egg. Adorable. Oh, and it has a baby chicken. Quick, quick. Oh, <gasps> Droplets! <laughs> Why? I feel irresponsible. I just brought four babies and they have no mother into this world. Why? I only have so many safari nets, but I feel like we have to catch each one of these babies that I just caught and collect them because that's only the second time ever that I've had quadruplet. Okay, hang on, little one. Quadruplets hatch from an egg. That was amazing. The chances of that. Like, I need to go get, like, a lottery ticket or something now if I gambled, because, oh my goodness. Wow! And a maggot! Why? Why? I'm gonna have to let the birds go. I'm gonna have to- not the Royster, because that's Mama to, like, these four babies. It laid this egg, and I hatched the egg, and four babies popped out. So we have an amazing family right here. Rose Red, followed by three baby chick or four baby chicks. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to just let the birds go and catch them later because I need I need space for there you go guys. I need space for possible chameleons and I need the maggot, as weird as that sounds, because that's important. Hello! I thought I let you go for a second, but no, it's another rose red. Well I can't catch you right now. <gasps> that's a hummingbird! <laughs> that's a hummingbird, where'd it go? There it is! It's a hummingbird! Catch it! Catch it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> By the time we find chameleons, I'm not gonna have any safari nets left. 
I thought I came prepared. I brought like handfuls and handfuls of safari nuts. And And there's a chameleon. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I forgot I have to catch him with the safari nut launcher. I just this the, the, the silence was like the stunned shock of like and now there's a chameleon. And now there's a chameleon. This has been this garden area. I am in love. All right, release mode, capture mode. Holly, you're going to have to back up, sweetie. And I need to get back backed up a little bit. Dogs, I think you're making the chameleon kind of nervous. There we go. Oh, dang it, Tate. <laughs> Thank you for picking him up, but come on, Tate. All right. Oh, wait. Um, Holly? There we go. Holly had him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, you guys, that was a fruitful, like, two minutes. Normally it takes a bazillion more hours to collect everything, but we ran into a hummingbird, we ran into birds, we just had four baby chickens born from an egg, I have one safari nut left. What was that? <gasps> you guys! And now we have two chameleons. Okay, well, ironically everyone, I am now full up and I have no more space to get more animals. So this just drives home the point that I need to, um, I need to get more reusable safari nets. Uh, I guess, you know, finding the the four chickens kind of can't really be helped. Lily, did you get that? Yeah. Finding the four chickens is, is a pretty special opportunity. Look, there's evidence, actually, if we look at Lily's nose. She's got some uh, rose red, rose red dye laid down. So there's more evidence of rose red chickens other than just the little poppies left everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, that was exciting. That was probably one of the fastest expeditions we've ever had, and I need to name the four lucky baby chickens, and I need to name, like, the mama bird, who's got, like, four... She's just lucky. She's just so lucky. And then we have two chameleons, a hummingbird, and a maggot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, that went really quickly. So we are full up when it comes to safari nets, but I do want to do a little bit of gathering of some more plants and material out here because this garden area is really great to come over and try to find things. Oh, there's another egg. Are we going to get more? Are we going to get more chickens? Oh, thank goodness. I would have I would have felt so conflicted and confused if we ended up with more chickens. Look at the size of that. Is that really a tree? Okay, I have to go look at that because that's just kind of amazing. If that's really just like one tree, and then I kind of want to gather up like one of these. So let's go a little bit further away from um, all of this area. Hello chicken. Lots of evidence of rose, rose red roisters in the area. Not just by sight, but you can look around and you can see that uh, there's lots of poppies everywhere. And I want to take one of these guys. Um, oh, and also this, this looks like a good plant. So what we want to start finding for the hawkweed, huh? What we want to start finding for the hummingbirds are going to be tubular shaped flowers. And so hummingbirds really like, like trumpet vines are a flower that's common in the area that I live. And the ruby throated hummingbirds that live in the area love trumpet vines because they love, oh, there's a whole bunch of ants. That's like Ant Valley over there and a chocobo. Um, but hummingbirds really love having that tube shaped flower because it means they can stick their beaks down inside and get a lot of nectar. And they like, pretty much like the wild flowers because they tend to have more nectar than hybrid flowers, um, your common garden flowers. So let's see, what else could I, I'm just gonna pick one of these. Um, how about you? You? Maybe you. I'm trying to find a spot where they're kind of clustered closely together. And what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna come over here, experiment. Oh yes! Holly, did you, Lily, did you get that? And we're getting the giant red flowers. I want to transfer a giant red flower over into, speaking of long tubular flowers, over into our exhibit because I think that would go over fairly decent. All right, what about this? Can I get the stem? Come here, stem. <gasps> I can! Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is so fun, but realistically in the future, we might want to have an NPC who can sell like these items to us instead and we can build our own flowers. Because I feel a little bit bad taking apart one of these big beauties, but we're going to put it in an exhibit where it'll be able to be admired. Admired by Minnie. Let's see, I need... Hello Tate! You guys are getting hungry again, so I'm going to have to feed you in just a minute. 
All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to climb up a bit. There we go. Bat pick, you're amazing. I love that silky silk touch, bat pick. All right, there we go. There we go. Almost there. And we will rebuild this flower in the chameleon exhibit for the birds especially for the birds and for the chameleons because I'm hoping we'll try to build it in a way where it's up against a branch or some leaves so the chameleons will climb on it because um, I really want to see their colors change to this shade. I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, and I think Holly, did you pick up a bunch of those for me? Thank you. Tate, what about you? You're good. Lily, what about you? Thank you very much. I just want to make sure I have all of the pieces of the big giant flower on me. There we go. Well, this is fantastic. Oh my goodness, and now we have our giant flower. And now I guess I can just spend a little bit of time like freely collecting plants. Not too many plants. Also, there those aquatic plants are growing on that tar pit. That's definitely a unique thing to see. Definitely a very unique thing to see. Let's run past the tar pit so the dogs don't jump in. Oh, hello, Rose Red Chicken. Oh, this is so cool. So cool. I wonder if there's more flowers. There's more flowers down here. Let's take a peek at what's down here real quick. Oh, more of these roses. I really want to propagate some of the roses, like the emerald roses and the sapphire roses, and give them to people as presents because they're pretty, they're not super common. They're not terribly uncommon if you know the right biome to look in, but they're not super common either. Let's see. I'm trying to think, like these are really pretty, so I think we might get some of these little geraniums. I think they are. Lily? Hello? Holly? Whoops. One of my dogs picked all of those up. Holly, you're going to pick this up, aren't you? Okay, that's fine. All right, let's see. Yep, there's the geranium, Lily. That's so funny, Lily. Did you want to collect the flowers too? She's such a flower collector. And I hear a snake, so we need to be a little bit careful right here. But I think that the like uh, geraniums and I think the delphiniums, delphiniums would be good additions. Okay, where's the snake? Also, the dogs are growling about it. Oh, there's a snake. Okay, it is a venomous one. So let's go this way. Oh, there's another snake. That's fine. I don't really, I'm not really concerned too much about snakes, just you want to stay away from, that's not a venomous one. You want to stay away from the venomous ones, because they will try to wreck your day a little bit. Alright, let's gather these guys up. Oh, thank you. Lily and Holly are like right behind me like, hey mom, you picking flowers? That looks fun. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> A two twined flower. Oh, so pretty. Gives me ideas for like things we could build. Because we should take some of these and build like a flower garden. And also, is that mountain range? That is the coolest, most beautiful mountain range in the distance. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, you can't look at it head on because then it'll disappear. But look at that. Oh, that'll be so. Oh my gosh. Look, it's another double flower. It's another double. Oh, so pretty. All right. We'll head this way. Because I think Alex's base is kind of back this direction. See, these are really vibrant purple, these lupines. And I think they're exactly what I need. All right, good. I saw you propagate, so I'm going to put you back down. I don't want to completely, like, rip up all the plants in the area. Leave nothing behind. That is not my motto. All right, now it's getting dark, so let's go ahead and snooze real quick. So we don't get eaten in this beautiful meadow. And then we'll head back to Alex's base. Leave him some, some presents of flowers. All right, there we go. Leave him some presents of flowers. Maybe a lot of the food that we collected as well, if that happens to be useful. It's probably more useful if you, like, actually cook with it, though, to be honest. So, and we'll take back some of these and go. Ah, I saw you propagate. There you go, little one. And what about you? No? Do you want to give it a try? Back off. Oh, my gosh. Holly and Lily. They really want to help me gather flowers. They did. Not getting that flower back now. <laughs> Holly and Lily apparently love collecting flowers with mom, which is cool. There's a ostrich. All right. And then I think if we cut through here, we should wiggle our way back over. <gasps> I, have, I do not have many of you ferns. Oh, these are philodendrians. I was going for this guy. Where you go? Holly? Lily? Glad to see you're following me. Grab him quick. Kangaroo fern! Oh, that's new. That's new. I like him. Come here, kangaroo fern. And I always need more philodendrians. I'm always... Lily? Okay, I'm like, I can't find my plants and I'm just so suspicious of them. I'm always hunting for more philodendrian. 
Because you really can't have enough. I'll grab a few of these guys while we're here, shell flowers. Ooh, and they were kind enough to, like, really propagate for me. Jeez Louise. There you go, guys. I think they propagate faster if they're fully grown. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright, philodendrian. There we go. And we don't want to be rude, so I'm going to put some back where I found them. And try to collect a few more. If my dogs would stop picking them up, I would try to return a few more, too. Alright, let's see. What about you, and you, and you. Just a few philodendrian. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're pretty. Come here. There we go. That looks like something. Oh, I heard a duck. Hello, duck duck. These look like something that... Oh, oh, oh. Let's move. We're next to something that's hurting the dogs. Hello, ostrich. Oh, philodendrian. Just walking past piles of philodendrian. Okay, thank you, Lily. Oh, they're hungry. I'm sorry, guys. I got so distracted with plants. You know I tend to do that. Tate, where are you? Tate! There you are. Tate, come here. Come here. Come here. Everybody's everybody's better now. There we go. Alright, and we're almost out of dog food. So that's when you know... Ooh. A maggot! Why am I out of safari nets? Why? That's when you know it's time to head back home. Is when you start... Well, desperately crying because you can't collect maggots with your bare hands. And, um... Just running out of space. Oh, jeez Louise. And when you start getting attacked. Whoosh. Good job, dogs. Good job, guys. Alright, and I think we're almost back to where Alex's home is. What's that? Just a hole in the ground. Alright, lily pad. Whoops. Lily pad. Lily pad. I was thinking... There we go. There we go, and we're back over to this side. Oh, and willow! We actually do need some willow uh, leaves because I was reading that willow is really... Oh, why is there a cricket now? <laughs> Clearly, I hear a hummingbird. Oh, you're kidding me! That's more evidence, though. I was about to say, the thing is about willow trees is that they're really great for hummingbirds because apparently the soft leaves, the soft, like, downy sort of um, feathery leaves that they have are perfect for hummingbirds to help build their nest out of. Oh, and also cobwebs are one of the main materials in hummingbird nests as well. So they'll use little twigs and pieces of bark for camouflage and, like, soft downy things to line their nest. But then they will also use... Um, cobwebs and they'll grab the little cobweb piece and use it to kind of bind their nest together. Alright, so next up, we just need to find our way home. I don't think it'll be very hard. Ooh, ooh, so many so many tropicals. So many tropical things. Alright, let's put these away. There we go. I think my dog's collected like a bazillion things. Oh, that's a pit. We just need to find a path. That is quicksand. I think if we just kind of continue in this general direction, we might end up somewhere. Oh, see? Oh my gosh. That's so relaxing and reliable. You can just be like, I know if I keep following this, I'll eventually run into a path. Man, I need people to have that kind of sense of security and safety in my home, and I totally don't. And I still broke his bridge, and I forgot. Dang it. Don't worry, Alex. I'm gonna fix your house. I'm so sorry. I'm a horrible house guest. Oh my gosh. Horrible house guest. Why? Alright, let's see what else we can leave behind as gifts. Some nice plants, maybe? Some pretty, pretty plants? Um, I didn't really pick up a lot of extras, did I? And everything I did pick up extras of, like the philodendrian, I'm pretty sure he has plenty of. So I'll have to propagate some really nice plants and bring them back to share. Let's share some of the melon. I wonder if I wonder if that's okay. We'll share some of the melon. And how about a lot of the grapes? Um, let's see, let's do some grapes. And then what about some pineapple? That's all summery-ish stuff, if you ask me. Here we go. Share more of the chili peppers. There we go. Yay, and we, we added some raw frogs. Because, I don't know, it's, it's a swamp land, so I figured maybe frogs, maybe they're appropriate for swamp land? Not sure. All right, and I'm still gonna have to fix that bridge. I just have to come back with some carpenters uh, fencing later. But all right, there we go, you guys. Darn it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna have to have my dogs come over here and sit down 
And I'm gonna have to have them wait by the teleportation portal. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna release the baby chickens. And like, well, I wanna give them really cool names. So I'm gonna try to release the four babies in a specific spot so I know where they are. And I know that, oh yeah, these are the four babies that this one rose rest red chicken had. In fact, what I'll do is I'll turn all the other chickens into free range chickens and put the four babies and the mom inside of the chicken coop so we know which one is which. And then I'll come back and get my dogs. And then I will see you guys later, either for our side quest, if you want to come join us for Zoo Kitchen, or tomorrow for an Expedition Sunday! Woohoo! Very excited about that. Oh, this has been this has been a tremendously successful expedition. I mean, I mean, look at all these guys. A hummingbird, a maggot, two chameleons, two chameleons, a royster, and a whole bunch of chickens. And we got the willow leaves for the chameleons, and we got more emerald philodendron, and we got more plants to be able to put in and hopefully provide more things for the the hummingbirds and the parrots to eat. So very, very successful day. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful time, and remember everybody, stay curious. Bye-bye.